the buggy. We forgot the buggy. Who forgot the buggy? Nobody uses the buggy. Oh, I love it so much. I yeah. miss it. Yeah, and you're going to miss it because We're never this, gonna is, see this it is again. probably the last time you're going to see it. So ingrain <laughs> the little centipede weird thing in your mind because my buggy, we're going to replace you for the tiny Bronco coming yep. next. There you yep. go. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Metal Blade 427 and... Just plain Paul. Welcome you back to another episode of Final Fantasy Fridays. In the last episode, we went through the mountain path behind the Bellum to the other side of the mountain here. And now we're going to be going around the mountain again to Rocket Town. Because we'll be coming around the mountain. Coming around the oh, mountain. Really quick. Go. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really Lots quick. of good stuff happened in awesome between episodes. Awesome stuff happened. As you can see. Yes. Uh, Cloud got meteorate, what? which surprised the crap out of me. I did That's not awesome. think he had to get 200 kills between level two and level three. I didn't think I was anywhere even close, but the, the forests in this area give you like five, six enemies to fight at a time. Really helps. Beta trine combo builds that up like crazy. And not only did we get cloud level three, but we switched out and brought red back into the mix of things and got his level two. Uh, which one do you like? Is level two, level one, or level level two, level two? Level two, level two, is, level the, one, two. Okay. is the one I like. Okay, yeah. And we figure we bring Red into the mix and start building him up because we have his level four limit. Yeah, might as yeah. well. We were we were between Red and Yuffie, and yeah. we decided to go for Red just because we already have his level four. So yeah, why not? All right. So uh, let's head on over to Rock Town. So yeah, these these forest areas, man. I'm hoping I get in a fight. Yeah, at least something. All right, we're now we're getting. We're fight. gonna get to at least one fight. Because <laughs> there's new enemies and there's fun things all over the place. But I'm telling you, man, there's, there's like some good stuff. All right, so maybe we'll get watch me only two enemies. Nope, nope there we go. Whole bunch of that's whole, the combo that was awesome. Whole bunch of battery caps, which is what these enemies are. They are uh, level 24 enemies, 640 HP, 58 MP. 270 experience, 386 skill, and 32 AP, and um, kill them in big bunches and build up your limit break, because quite frankly, that's all they're good for. Shazoom Shazam. Yeah. I think we've met, like, lower versions of these guys before, or something that looks... I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> or something that looks very similar to them. At least I think so. I don't remember. But, and again, yeah. I mean, you, you can see, like, the EXP and the AP, just... and the gill... Isn't too shabby afterwards either. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, we are going to need to uh, buy more tents and whatnot, but now it's like we got the deal to do it, so let's uh, do it. Rocket Town! Yeah! Rocket <laughs> Town! <laughs> that's, that's the entire episode. Thank now, you. Now, um, I haven't even mm. said anything to uh, Metal Blah, Metal Blah over yeah. here yet, but what he doesn't know is that when we go up the rocket here... Okay. There's conversation that's going to happen... All right. ...that we're not going to speak for. Oh, okay. A rusty old rocket. Wonder what they'd make something that huge for. For... Compensation! Wop wop! Oh. Uh, really quick. Let's uh, check out here. Because... Because we stuff. got the gill. New stuff. Yep. Weapon, Weapon. and accessory needs. Cause... What do we got? Shotgun? I love me memory. Yeah, there's the gold armlet. We stole one of those. Now we can just buy them. Um, we'll get two for right now. Yeah, why not? Just we... to give to the active party. Ooh, the power rest. You know, Strength like... 10, vitality 10. Magic 10. May want to buy an earring. Do we have an earring? Nope. We do not have an earring. I'd say buy an earring. Give that to uh, some one of our okay, magic we users. we have everything else. Um, yep. I'm surprised that it's just uh, Vincent's weapon. Yeah, me too. And um, I, don't, I don't really know how, uh, how thrilled I am, especially knowing that he's got a weapon with a 255% accuracy. Yeah, I, I'd rather almost just leave that on, per se. All right, All right. so... Gold. Yep, and gold. gold, very good. And, uh, I guess give the new magic thing to... Oh, yeah, I'll give it to Red. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I was gonna be say Eric, but... No, nah, because he'll, um... He's gonna be using Beta and trying like, freaking crazy. And right. Plus, Eris is, as she is, ridiculously yeah. powerful. Uh, we got an inn... Uh, we're gonna need a item shop at some I want to point. Talk to this dude, right? It used to be Shinra base where they launched rockets. We saw the rocket leaning. Shinra number twenty-six never got off the ground. Is a person there? Yeah. Oh man, I... it just looms there. It's got the town name. Look at the rocket. With it. Sure. Let's look at the rocket. All it's gonna do is screen's gonna pan up. It's a rocket. It's covered in moss. 
I think. Or just no. Moss. Are they, okay. Moss. Right. It, it, it's been I, there. I, for I mean, a very you can have a green time. rocket. That's your choice. You know. I, sorry. Uh, it's kind of a hobby, but I have appreciation. Let me give you this. Ooh, y- Yoshimitsu. Yosh- y- Yosaki Yojimbo. Yo, I think. What is that? Oh, it is a cloud thing. Oh, wow. Now. Sword this is used sword, when an ally is down. Yes. This sword is an interesting sword. It's, yeah. It starts like weird mechanics or stuff. As you can see, double AP with four slots. This is normal AP with two. 56 strength. If one of your dudes dies, the sword doubles in strength. Holy crap. It becomes a monster. But again, one of your dudes has to be dead. But if two are dead. Still the same. Oh, so it doubles once in that yeah, second. Okay. Yeah. While it's good and sort of like a good last stand thing, it's always better to have a full party than to deliberately always. have somebody dead and yeah. be like, well, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> we if learned that in the last episode, Fighting the Dragon. Best to have people alive. Yeah. If you talk to this dude wow. twice. I did not even know that that was a guy. It yeah. kind of looked like a post. Yeah. If you talk to this dude twice without... Uh, his name is Sid. You're going to find out in 30 seconds. Oh, um, okay. Um, if you talk to this dude without having Sid in your party, he does that. If you talk to this dude with Sid in your party after... Hmm. I think the weapons are launched. Okay. He actually gives you Sid's ultimate weapon. Oh, okay, good. So we uh, like this guy. This is good yeah, man. so he's a good dude. Good man. Uh, I, think, I think this is items. This looks like an item shop. I think this is items. There we are, item shop, because we're going to need some more tents. I need some more tents, yeah. I use tents a lot in this game. Oh, and they sell others. And we actually have, like... Perfect. Oh, and we got, um... Some new material. Alright, that's even good, too. Um, 14. Let's do 9. Ah, oh, fine. Uh, barrier magic. Exit. We have time. Barrier? Interesting. Alright, exit. What does exit do? Just get you out of Leave the battle. Oh, okay, so it's like a magic runaway. Okay, and now... Yeah, how many of those? I mean, not like we don't have the gill, but... We're gonna we're gonna get eight for right now. Alright. Is that all the material that was there? Yeah. Just those three? Okay. Yeah. And that's that. I mean, do we really... I mean, besides just leveling up barrier with Mighty Guard, you, you kind of no, really don't, don't even need, need it. it. You don't need it. If it wasn't for the fact that you needed to use it to get a master magic material, you well, I would say it. don't even bother with it. Right. Same, same thing with... Um, Exit. Well, no, with time magic. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for the fact you needed it for the master magic, I'd say don't bother because Big Gar <laughs> gives you haste. True. So, what do you so, need that for? So, really, it, one enemy skill is a combination of two materia that you yes. can get at a very like long period of time apart. Yes. And you cast Big Gar at once as compared to those two materias at two different times. So. I have to come in here first. Or no, wrong house. Nope. Wrong house. Wrong house. Uh, Sorry. This house. Okay. I forget if I have to come in here first. Is it a nice house? Oh, there's an item. I think it's a Barret. Drill, Drill arm. arm. Yeah, that's, Again, that's a I'm Barret. Not, I'm not a fan of his close range stuff. Yeah, that would be him running towards somebody and punching them or whatever. Yeah. But if I can remember about Drill Arms from Skies of Arcadia, they may have instant death attached to them. I don't yeah. know if this is the case, but you know. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Let's take it. Okay, Cloud? Well, Eris. <laughs> <laughs> She's got plans. Yeah, really. Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. Shh, crap, stop it. <laughs> Except if you ask Eris. She <laughs> wanted to steal that shit. <laughs> if you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira. And what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Eris. Maniki. Otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> I actually... <laughs> I forgot about this one! <laughs> the joke just won't die! <laughs> Move on. Move on. I can't. I can't. So you're not with the Shinra? I thought the approval of the reopening of the space program came. Huh? Yeah, that's usually how that's read. <laughs> President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. I feel like that you're doing a British accent now. I was trying. It started Aust- not British. Yeah, and then it started, she was like, it started normal, then it became use... like Australian, then it switched to British. So you know what? She's just going to have a different voice she is every time. Multilingualist. Rufus. 
Yes. We, okay. So I did have to come there first. Okay. Doesn't matter. We got another Nanaki joke out of the way. That was yes, amazing. That was I, fantastic. I can't believe that. that was well cool. planned, well timed. Love it. Well well played, good sir. Well played. <laughs> okay. Next. Next. To the rocket to meet the captain. Are you, Captain? Now. Where are we? Now there's no battles or anything around here, just kind of a uh Not right now. But there will be. In the future there will be. There will be. In the future there will be robots. <laughs> The future is now! We just refuse to use them, apparently. Alright, so we're moving our way to the top of the rocket. And there we go. Man, the myth, the legend. Is this me or you? Did this we, is gonna be me. This is gonna be you? Just prepping this? Yeah. Ah. Um. What do you want to sound like? What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. There is a lot of music in this game. Yep. A lot of awesome music in this game. By and by far, Sid's theme is my favorite song in this game. That's why you didn't say and anything. And that is right? why yeah. I will not speak through this whole conversation. All right, so just watch it then, guys. got a lot of curses, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> is that it? Is that the entire conversation? It could be. Oh, Depends okay. on uh, <laughs> how much you want. <laughs> Your personal choices yeah. in life. Depends on how much you want it. Yep. If you wanted to progress it, all you'd have to do would just ask about the tiny Bronco, and then you would go right back to his house, mm -hmm. and things would go from there. Okay. But, uh... Since theme! That's what! Since theme. I was as excited as Oh my god. <laughs> I'm excited now. <laughs> okay, so that was that then. Yep. Got a lot of uh, Sid's theme in that, so... I, I love, I love that song. Very nice. Um, now, um... Basically, what happened back there mm. is... If you weren't paying attention yeah. to reading, because very well, probably people were not, so... Yeah. Um, he's, he's basically... He was supposed to go into space. There was a problem, and Shira, the dumbass, messed it up. Which is what he wants you to believe, but mm. not exactly how it happened. Um, Spoiler! Oh. And, uh, and so he's all pissy and cranky because oh. they're like... Not doing it. <laughs> and then he's like, Rufus is coming because he's going to fire up the space program. I know it. And so now it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and life goes on. Ah. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Cloud. She seems British, I would say. Maybe. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. It's the captain! <laughs> Shira, what are you, blind? We got some guests. Get some tea. Need <laughs> that tea! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. 
pretty sure I've seen memes in this section, because Sid is very passionate about his tea. Yes. Yes. Really, don't mind us. Shut up, sit your ass down, in that chair, and drink your goddamn tea! Passion! <laughs> Just loves his tea. Ah, oh, Damn! I'm pissed! <laughs> Shira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve him some tea, alright? That's some damn good tea! Bear with me, because... In my head, Sid has always been a screamer. Yeah. Well, so... Well, I mean, have you ever played the Kingdom Hearts or anything like that? I, I'm pretty sure that's how he naturally talks anyway, so... Yeah. See, it's weird, because I kind of envisioned him having a more southernish voice. Yeah. But when I heard him in Advent Children, I was like, no, that's too far gone. I was like, that's too far. <laughs> too far south. Bring it, bring, bring, it, bring it a little, a little bit, bit, little bit north up. more, yep. and then we're good to go. Like like in the North Carolina-ish area, <laughs> exactly. you know? Exactly. Like, you're, you're down in Georgia, my friend. You need to go up a little more. No offense to everybody out there. It's just, you're just the, the visioning of... All them. offense. We hate everything. Now stop it. I've got unsubscribers now. Uh, Sheesh. What bad manners. She's talking to you, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. It's our fault. No, no. He's always like this. I think it's a bit too harsh. No. It's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? And then you get this. You get a nice backstory. Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired waiting around for your ass. I I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that damn oxygen tank. Sure, being careful's good, but it won't do any good, no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But, no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Three lines, and it's the same line over and over again. Yeah, uh, she apologizes a lot. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be part of the launch of Shimmer number 26, and we also all have the same voice. The other thing, too. And the same outfit. He doesn't have his goggles yet. Oh, yeah, look at that. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Sir! All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shinra number 26 ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Fine. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. The mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little blip? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Activating now. Whoop. Hey, god damn it! Who the fuck is still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shira? What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little. It's gonna get so hot in there, there ain't gonna be left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown! We won't make it if we don't! Starting engine! Hey, wait a minute! Shira's still in there! Nope, too late! 
What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shira! You wanna make me a murderer? Captain! Shira! Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira. Hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Hey! 27, Sid! Forget about him! We won't make it in time! What what am I what am I supposed to do? 15 seconds until ignition! Internal temperature rising! Oh boy. Oh man. The moon. Outer space. My dreams. Isn't it? Oh, wait, whatever. It, go! Shit! Uh-oh. Oh, no! And they failed to get it up. What a job. These jokes write themselves. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's all leany like Yeah. She didn't die, though. Nope. Nope, that, that's a thing. I mean, six months isn't that long. He's waited that long to go into space already. You figured that, like, he could wait another six months, but... Yeah. Eh, whatever. Patience is not his virtue. Nope. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shira, you still haven't served him tea. I I'm sorry. Ah, uh, the tea again. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where's Rufus? Oh boy. Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, hey. how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Good for nothing, fat. Hey! <laughs> don't say fat! As opposed to the other words you were saying. Hey, T! Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and oh yeah, don't forget the lard! Ew! I know, it's so... <laughs> okay. okay then. So now, we go out the door. So Rufus is out here? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We asked first! We're going after Sephiroth. But it seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now, we think we know where he's headed. But, we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. First the airship, then the rocket, and now, the tiny Bronco? Shinra took out a space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. Hmm. She does a little sneaky sneaky and locks yeah, the door. Yeah, really. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palma's gonna take it. Why don't you talk to him? With our swords? Yeah, that's pretty much how we talk in this Yeah, game. exactly. That's, that's how everything gets resolved. Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program! What is he doing? But... No one knows. Yeah. 
We'll be taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Oh, 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 oh security! Okay, so we didn't even run away. That's fine. This is gonna be a good, good time because we're going into a boss battle with Fat Man Palmer. He is a level 36 boss, 6,000 HP, 240 MP, 1,800 experience, 5,000 gil, 98 AP. At the end of the fight, you get the Edit Coat, which I believe is just another armor piece. And uh, the that, um, that, that's really it. He's immune to gravity, so your laser won't work. Um, just keep at him. He does apparently like to use various status moves. Uh, he's vulnerable to stop and poison. Ah. There you go. So we may want to summon a Chocomog or Biogame or something like that. What do we got? Chocomog away! Thank you for death blow. Again, again, again. So what else we got? Uh, that's pretty much it. it this is just a, kind of a, a basic fight. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really overly complicated or challenging. Hey, stop! Or any, even if he wasn't stopped. Yeah. He's. This is not a hard boss. Yeah. Ah. Oh man. All right, let's see. 425. Four, okay. 11. All right, it's actually closer than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, the weapon that we put on uh, Nanaki, actually, we actually had two weapons. We had the weapon that we found uh, during the last episode, and then one that we got from somewhere. I don't, I don't really know. We where got we it. Got. We got it after the events of Cosmo Canyon when he found out about his dad. Okay. So yeah, the weapon, that weapon, I forget what it was. Uh, we'll check a little bit it's later. Sarah. Okay. Yeah, that one that we have on him right now raised his attack quite a bit. Considerably. Yeah. Uh, the one that we found in uh, the last episode, same amount of slots, actually dropped his attack by one, but with double AP. So it was kind of like you lose a little bit of attack with double AP, or significantly increase his attack. So in this situation, we opted for the more attack, mainly because of a fight like this. And he, oh, there he goes. He's doing the truffle shuffle again. The truffle <laughs> shuffle, <laughs> truffle <laughs> shuffle. Truffle shuffle. <laughs> Hit cloud. Yes. All right, cloud, uh, meteor rain. What are you doing? Yeah. I was about to say climb I after him. Love this move. And we say goodbye. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that'll kill him. That should kill him. And meteor rain. Bo, 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 Definitely kill him. Oh, yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. might have dropped him from like the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Gruffle shuffle. Uh oh. Oh no! Indiana Jones. Oh, he ducked it. That wouldn't have happened in Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! What a way to go. Who was driving that truck? I want to shake their hand. <laughs> and that's how this ends. <laughs> where, did the, where did the tiny Bronco go? It literally like, just disappeared from the frame. <laughs> that's how that ends. And best battle ever. Awesome! Yay! Tokomog went up. That's, that's amazing. Etico. Wow. That was something. Now, this part was always weird. It's going to take off. It's not moving. It's going to take off. Forget it. Get in. Hurry, hurry. Oh, there we go. Now it started. Your oh. third party member will always hold on like that. Oh, man, it I wish is, it was red. It's not exclusive to, uh, like, a particular character. What? Whoever's in your third slot, that's what happens. And imagine <laughs> Red just hanging on by Deer Claw. <laughs> <laughs> so this is interesting. How is Ares' head not getting chopped off? You are asking all the wrong I, questions. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> This is the question to ask. Like, how does Sid run and keep up with a plane? <laughs> Cause he's Sid, because he's awesome. These are the questions to ask. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. Pew, 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 pew. Now just got into Star Wars <laughs> land. Shit, the tail's been hit. I think that's the least of our problems right now, Sid. Emergency landing. You're not a pilot. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss it. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Whee! It's really, I mean, really. This is comical. You know, it's not like, that big of a splash, it, people. No, there is no it's splash. Really, it's really not that Actually, big of a the, splash. The, 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 there's no splash. The splash is a lie. <laughs> no splash, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> she won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? 
<laughs> do whatever you want. Sid, what are you gonna do now? Don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on the town. How about your wife? How about Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. Because there's so many Rufuses uh, yeah, running around of that the we need Shinra, to yeah. we need to specify. Well, maybe that's his last name, because <laughs> you know you have Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe that's Rufus's true. middle name is of the. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I don't know about any of that, but what the hell? Sign me up. Sweet. How about it, everyone? <laughs> Only two party members out of everyone, but you know I don't really care. Glad to be on board, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go against... <laughs> anyone stupid enough to go up against the Shinra nowadays? Gotta be a numbskull. I like it. And Eris just doesn't care. Yep. So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth towards I ran out of white ink and had to write in blue the Temple of the Ancients. Oh no, we don't <laughs> want to go there. Really? Where is it? That... Give me temple. that pen. <laughs> that temple of the ancients. Don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction. So maybe it's off this way. Which way is this yeah, way? Yeah, where, where, where are we pointing? Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the ancient. That name bothers me. It bothers a lot of people that, you know, know what the ultimate outcome of that is. Yeah. Ugh. But ideally now, we have the tiny... Hey, it's flying again! No, it's on the water. Oh, really? It's just a watercraft? Oh, yeah. there you go. Okay, so it's a watercraft only vehicle. Can we still get in the fight fall in this thing? No. No? Okay. No, if we're, if we're on here, that's it. We can get on and off at any Beach shore port? point like that. Okay. Um, I mean, I know we're a little long, but I'm trying to get... Ah, yeah, we're all right. One... It's a world um, tour from the Tiny Bronco's perspective. Yep. So basically, the Tiny Bronco, anywhere you see the light blue like this, mm -hmm. you can go. Okay. Um, it gets a, it gets a little dicey in some sections. Yeah, because some of this like light blue water is very very thin. But whatever it is that we're going for, we're gonna go. Oh, is that it? I think. Mm. I know what I'm looking for. I just I always get like spun around. So where, where, where are we heading to, out of curiosity? Is it like a hidden cave or something Not like that? Not a hidden cave, but a, a house that you can get to once you have the, the tiny, tiny Bronco. Oh my god, spoilers! Spoilers of places we haven't visited yet! We're about to be, though. That's true. So this is kind of like the direction that we would need to go anyway, story-wise, of sorts? Yeah. There's the mid, good. Oh, wow. Huh. I got... We got turned around like crazy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, um, you know what? Hold on, we'll, 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 we're going to figure it out. Hang on one second. Okay, so we found it. This isn't it. This is the broken reactor that we got Titan from and that we learned about Zack and all that other stuff. Yeah. The house we're looking for is right, right behind it. Um, that was a pain to find. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not the end of the world. I had to go all the way around, which I would have had to do anyway to get to. Temple of the Ancients, which yep. is our next stop. But, you want to come in here, and you want to... There's no mark on the map for this no, house either. No, you it, need to just, just find it. And we have this guy. Huh. Huh. Another customer. You sure picked a... Uh, sure picked an out of... Oh, picked an out of the way place. But... If it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. You don't have it. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears. I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. You didn't write that in blue! No! The Temple of the Ancients? <laughs> yeah. Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. So do we need to come here before we went to the Temple of the Ancients anyway? Like, um, like, actually, yeah. Could we need... Yeah, Where I think, is the keystone? 
I sold it already. Yeah, well, to tell the truth, I didn't really want to sell it, but that guy had a way about him that made you feel like you may not be uh, may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who would you sell it to? The manager of the Gold Saucer. I think his name was Dio. He said he was going to put it in his museum. Then he took off out of here. Oh boy. Okay. So now that we know that, we know where the temple is. I'll show you next episode. Uh, let's change the subject. All the weapons you see here, I made myself. But lately, I haven't been able to get materials. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any mithril on you, would you? <laughs> oh. I'll trade you something good if you can spare some. So, Give him some. So we got that one piece. Hey, thanks. All right, you can help yourself to either a big box or a small box. So you want to do where are the boxes? You want to do is you want to come up to this wall thing. Oop. Come on. There you go. Bam. Received great gospel. Ah! Understand something. It is a one-time pick. Where's the big box? If you pick this big box right here, oh. you get a gold bangle. Oh, man. Now, for the first time... But not the last. But uh, definitely not the last. We will now be uh, able to take... Memory, great gospel. The only limit break in the game that has, like, an mm. animation. Like a full-on like, scene. Yeah, like it's got like a scene that goes with it. Huh. Great gospel. That should be okay. Is that was the said. Mm -hmm. This should be okay. Um. Oh, I'll wait. She's got it. Uh. But I'll talk about it. Okay. Planet protector makes allies invincible one time. Pulse of life basically fully revives, full elixir, restores yeah. MP, HP, the whole bit. The mega elixir. That's what it is. Great gospel is both of them at the same time. Yep. Um, it makes the boss of the Temple of the Ancients a joke. Nice. A joke. And it's awesome. <laughs> um, but, again, I don't want to waste a level three. Yes. And that was our first level four limit break that we got for the game. Officially attached to a person. Yep. Because, I mean, we got the Cosmo Memory, but uh, otherwise that... We can't give it to him. Can't yet. give it to him yet. So... That is where we will be stopping for today. In the next episode, we actually need to go to the Gold Saucer, talk to Dial to get this keystone thing, to be able to get to the Temple of the Ancients, crack it on open, and see what we can learn from the ancient temple of the ancients. But there might be a plot twist in there. What a twist! Oh! Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427. Until next time, everyone, you have a good one. And, and enjoy watching Palmer get hit by a truck again.